Hi there, this is Art and Such with part one of my rainbow loom tutorial for Brian Griffin from Family Guy. We're going to make one change, which you might have guessed, we're going to make the nose just a little bit smaller here. For the eyes, I'm using some little round pearl-like beads and I'm drawing on a pupil with a black sharpie. I can, I can just show you an alternate way to make it with bands a little later on, but beads will look better if you have some available. We're using some black for the nose and red and gold or yellow for the collar. And the rest of Brian here is gonna be all white. I will be making most of this with you, but I'm gonna get you to do one arm and one foot and one ear on your own. We're gonna start with the nose. It's the trickiest part and this is based on a design by DIY Mummy, her ladybug design. For the top of the nose, we're going to start with a single black, double it over onto itself, and twist it, put one end on the top center peg and one end on the second peg down on the right. Then we're going to take a second black band and do the same thing, double it over and give it a twist. This one is coming from the top left to the top right going straight across. Now if you want your nose to be the bulb, the black bulb of the nose to be a little shorter, you can switch to white for the next row. Otherwise stick with me, we'll keep going with black. And I do want to mention one more thing before we proceed and while I remember, if you want the nose to be a little bit stiffer and steadier, you can use some uh, uh, half of a cotton ball or a third of a cotton ball and squish it up inside when we are finished this part. Okay, I'm gonna stay with black. I'm gonna take a single, double it over, bring it from the first right to the second right. Another black, double it over, bring it from the center first to the right first. And I'm just gonna be going around like so. I'm pushing down my other bands as we move forward too. So the next one is going to stretch from the second on the left to the second on the right. In the order here, it's okay if you did this one first where we just want to make sure all of these are covered. And it is just going to go across this center second which has nothing else on it, that's okay. Now we're coming in from the outside, putting the hook through the bottom two bands or doubled over band and pulling it up and over and do that again take the bottom two up and over to the center bottom two up and over I think we're gonna have another thunderstorm here okay, and the last one and you should have four bands on each set of pegs here all right so that was our second row now we are gonna switch to white and this is going to be a doubled over band, again, twisted, and we're following the same pattern we started with. So from the first center peg to the second peg on the right, and another one doubled over, twisted, and brought from the first left to the first right peg. We're gonna, and you can even pull this black band over just to get it out of the way. We're gonna get the black bottom bands and bring them up and over the white ones. Until all you have left on your pegs are those, oops, white bands. Try not to take those up with your black bands here. We'll push that down again. Now we are going to extend, expand this up to six pegs. And for that, what we will do is take these bands from the top left and bring it down to the second left. Take one band off of the top center and bring it to that empty peg on the top left. 
and then we need one more peg over here. So we're going to just take one of these pegs from the second right and put it over the third center. So it's a little stretchy. It's okay for it to sit like this. And now let me consult my notes. I believe we are going to do three rows of white. So if this is a familiar technique to you, you can go ahead. Um, like I said, we need a minimum of three. If you want it to be any longer than that, you can add one more row. And if you want it to be shorter, you can add one less. What I'm doing is taking single white bands and bringing them all the way around here. So it's covering each set of pegs. And once more, you'll look for the bottom two bands so that, and in some cases there will only be one, but you want two white bands, top white bands left on each peg. And this one on the left here on the top will only have one to pull over, as will this top set. And one of our ones on the right should, or two of ours on the right should only have one each. Okay. We're going to do this another two times. So cover all of your bands. You can jump ahead or fast forward if I'm going slowly for you. I know this technique is tricky when you're starting with it. I had a hard time figuring it out myself and I'm, I really do appreciate uh, the care some of the YouTubers take when showing how to do techniques as complicated as these. And I'm, I'm trying my best for you too. Okay, again, we're taking the bottom two white bands and try to make sure you're getting the right two. You can tug them out or push them down as you need and push all of these down again so that you can see which ones you're working with after. And we're gonna do one more. All the way around with single weights. Come underneath from the outside, pull up your bottom two white bands. We're almost done this part. So from here, we are going to take the bands from each of these three pegs and move them to the corresponding pegs at the top. So the bands on your second peg down on the right will go onto your first peg down on the right. There should be two coming up. Your next two bands should be coming off the third center and going on the first center. And the last two are coming from the second left and going on to the first left. So we just move them up. You're going to put your hook through all of the bands on each of the pegs, starting with the right and moving to the center and the left. And this can go on a holding hook and put it aside for after. This is our nose. Now it looks a little bit too short, but that's okay. I think this will be a nice size for us. Just hold it up and compare. Yeah, not bad. We have a couple minutes left, so let me show you how to make the ear next. For the ear, we're taking a single white. That was the hardest part, so congratulate yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. We're through the hardest. It's all easy from here. We're taking a single white, wrapping it three or four times, and pulling it onto five single white bands. If that's a little tricky for you, you can use four. I'm putting them on the end. I'm holding it tight so there's some tension. And putting these right on top. And the other side will go back onto my hook. Now we take two white bands, stretch them out, double them over. And this goes on the end of the hook. We'll pull our other bands off of the hook and onto there. And then this will go onto one more doubled over single band. And you'll need to pause the video and make one more. 
So I'll just review one more time. That's a single wrapped about four times, pulled over five bands, over two doubled over bands, over a single doubled over band. And this can just go on your hook for now. Let's move on to the arm next. For the arm, and once more, I'll make one with you and you'll do one on your own. We're taking three single white bands, wrapping them twice over the hook, and pulling this over six pairs of white bands. So there's our two bands, goes on top. Two bands. and four more pairs to make six. This can stay right on your hook as well. And we're gonna make our feet. And the feet look pretty close, so the hands are just a little bit thicker. So we're starting with three bands again. I'm wrapping them over our hook one, two, three times. And we are gonna put this onto four white bands. Again, if this is a little tricky, you can use three instead. It just this is just to add a little thickness. Putting these at the end with my hook facing up. And we will probably need to use our fingers this time to lift them over. If you're finding this really too tight, you can go back and wrap your three twice instead of three times. And now this is going to go on to four sets, five, sorry, five sets of three bands. So take three bands, put them on your, the end of your hook, and pull your five over. And we'll do this another four times. One, two, using three bands each time. I lost count here. This is our first set. Two, three, four, five, and I'm just gonna measure it up against my other and make sure that looks right there. Okay, so pause your video again and make one more. That was three bands wrapped two to three times over your hook, pulled onto four bands, pulled onto five sets of three bands. I will show you how to make the eyes and then I think that's, oh, and the tail. We'll do our tail next. Our tail is a single wrapped three times. You can make it tighter if you like. And we're gonna pull this onto five doubled over bands. That's one, two, stretch it out, turn it, twist it over onto itself. Pull these off of your hook and on top. Three, four, and five. All right, let's make, oh. I don't think I doubled that one over. Just fix that. And then we'll make our eyes. We should have just enough time for that in this video. If you are using beads with a large hole, you can put them right onto your hook and use your hook to thread them onto a single white band. I have beads with smaller holes, so I am taking a piece of dental floss, threading it through both of the beads which is sometimes hard, but it's, with a little practice it gets easier, through my one white band. And then I'm gonna sort of flip my dental floss over and push it back through. And if you have a thin wire, like from a twist tie, you can do that as well. And you're just gonna push these on and then pull them over your elastic. And that can just sit on the side. And I will show you how to do the bands for the eyes in part two. 
I will see you back for part two and then we'll get started on our body.